Canadian judoka Shadi Elnaz is the reigning champion in men's judo at both the Commonwealth and Pan Am Games. And now he's in Paris with his sights on an Olympic medal. The judo qualifiers for this summer's Olympic Games are just a few days away. The finals on August 1st and the team events later in the week. And Shadi is joining us this morning. Welcome to your morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm more curious how you're doing. This is Olympics number two for you. What's different about how you've prepared for these games? I'd say maturity. I worked a lot on my mental uh, in Tokyo. I was still a little bit of a young kid. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, this time, I know the stress. I know how to handle it. And uh, I think uh, I did everything right to, to be on the podium. Yeah, so you've taken that maturity and those lessons learned, and now you're looking ahead. Uh, in addition to golds at the Pan Am and Commonwealth Games, congratulations, by the way, you took home a silver from the World Judo Championship back in the spring. So how have you elevated your game over the years to sit where you are right now? Uh, honestly, I'd say the Worlds is probably one of the hardest tournaments to medal at. Uh, it might be even harder than the Olympic Games because it's uh, open, whereas at the Olympics it's only one Canadian or one con one person per country. Uh, I feel honestly, it's all mental for me. I feel like my biggest block throughout my career was uh, staying mentally strong and sane uh, during the competition. And I did a lot of work to improve that, and uh, it's only been getting better as... Uh, I keep going, and uh, I think I'm at my peak right now. Shadi, I'm so glad. Shadi, tell me about that. What was happening to you before that's not happening now in terms of your mental game? Honestly, uh, I feel like the experience, of course, plays a role, but I feel like I hit the lowest of lows in Tokyo, mm. that now anything that comes my way, I feel like I can handle it because I handled such a big defeat, losing a medal in Tokyo, that now... I'm more confident and I'm not fighting or I'm not I'm not fighting or competing with the urge of uh, oh my god the world's gonna end if I lose it's more of mm. I need to show myself how good I am or how good I believe and uh, just perform to my best oh Shadi I love that I love that you looked at what was probably what you felt like was your worst you overcame it and now we're so excited to see you at these games you've also said that your older brother was one of the biggest reasons that you wanted to get into judo in the first place. Can you tell us about the impact and the influence that he's had on your career? Yeah, honestly, I probably would not be at any Olympics if it wasn't for my brother Mohab. Uh, I feel like he's the person I know who loves judo the most, even more than me. And uh, he basically is my coach, my mentor. I learned everything from him. And uh, he's actually in Paris coming to watch me. Uh, I saw him yesterday at the Canada House, so I'm, I'm very excited, and uh, I feel like a medal will be just as much for myself and for him, so that'd be really cool. I can see the smile on your face when you talk about it. It's making me smile, too. Did he give you any extra special advice, any kind of big brother wisdom ahead of the qualifiers on Thursday? Yeah, we were in the middle of the Canada House, and he was showing me what to do against my first opponent, so it was kind of funny. Everybody was like, what are these guys doing wrestling in the middle of the place? So, yeah, no, we have we have a good game plan going into this one, and uh, I just need to, to perform it. Yeah, are you doing all the visualization, imagining yourself on the podium, all those things? Yeah, 100%. I feel like the law of attraction is very essential to me and most athletes. Uh, if you truly believe in yourself, then you can do it, right? If... If I didn't believe in it, I uh, I probably would won't be winning. But I truly think it's possible. Oh, Shadi, the momentum is with you. The entire country is cheering you on. Can't wait to see you on Thursday. Good luck with your qualifiers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.